Yeah, greetings, people. I'm on for Ghana for a chef for any ETA for you know viewers and subscribers. You know, if you're bored of righteous messenger, and I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the righteous messenger YouTube channel. I'm on for this send special greetings to my Nigerian brothers and sisters. You know, my all your shimmies, yeah, all your queen, all your da. <laughs> The back make you forgive me, oh Charlie. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what that they meet, but I always they hear the Nigerian brother they shout on the bus for London. Oh, you queen, tayo. <laughs> anyway, I'm on for the reason why I did here today. Be say Charlie, somebody won't can scam me from east for Instagram top and the person, no, you see. His name is in Instagram account as Pastor Chris. Chris, oh, Pastor Chris. If you know, you know, one renowned, you know, so called man of God, Pastor Chris Ayakilome, you know, and he be one of the biggest pastors, you know, or, you know, miracle workers, or, you know, like, you know, these people, or, uh, people here yeah, basically did they head the charismatic movement you know he's got a big you know church you know and apparently it's even got well, some healing schools and that in south africa i want for the big if i be wrong correct me or comment and you know correct me at the back but pastor chris are you a kilo man last week yeah i just add them for instagram because I want to listen to him, yeah, yeah, and see what this man is all about because I didn't hear, hear in name, yeah. I want to listen to Pastor Chris and especially if he says something that goes according against logic and reasoning, I'll bring him back in line. So I'll go in my Instagram account to go and add all of Pastor Chris's um, accounts. Pastor Chris get a lot of accounts, you know love accounts on pastor chris i don't know if all of these accounts belong to him or people are creating fake accounts dupe or scam people in the name of our pastor chris ayakilome pastor chris ayakilome oh yeah and you see i added this guy like i said pastor chris and you know after adam if you see the data he's saying 6th of april yeah as I add, somebody replied me straight away, you know. Like I added them a few hours later, I go check my Instagram account. Somebody replied me and said, look, child of God, you are highly favored and uplifted. I don't know you in person, but God bless you. And as I was meditating, the Holy Spirit led me through your profile and ministered vision to me around you i see blessings from god and also more spiritual attacks and i miss you <laughs> blessings and spiritual attacks at the same time the enemies are working on holding your favor from god and they want to make sure that you amount to nothing the Lord said you should sow a seed of faith to Saint Ogigbana Susan Orphanage, yeah, home foundation, before the end of two days to attract divine and spiritual breakthrough in your life and that of your family and loved ones because there is power in sowing. Deuteronomy 28.15 just contact them or whatsapp them on plus two three four seven zero two six five four two zero three six god bless you don't joke with prophecy a man for that be the reply i got to you know i don't even text this man i just added him and he sent me this message charlie 
to be honest with you, me righteous messenger, I know they against giving because I believe in the law of you know exchange. You give, you receive. Yeah. Whether you know is religiously affiliated or not, yeah, but you know, you shouldn't just give, give and receive nothing. You know, when you give, you have to receive according to me, according to the law of exchange, yeah. That's why we the talk say look. You guys, they give monies to the pastors every time. What are you getting in return? You know? And to be honest with you, after I see the message, I said, no, no, and I didn't even reply, yeah? But this man texted me again. He said, God have something great for you. Do it and get back to me immediately. I have some prophetic step to give you. Hey, me righteous messenger, we already believe in prophecy. You can't give me prophetic step. Anyway, I'm not sure say this man knew who he was speaking to, Charlie. <laughs> anyway, let's go on. And then, because for me, I added Pastor Chris, are your killer man? I said, are you the real Pastor Chris, are your killer man? Yeah. This is what I asked him. And then next thing he said, God bless you, my dear. <laughs> then I think say they tried to fear the question, but then he answered, Yes. I'm off voice in the text too. I asked him, Are you the real Pastor Chris Ayakilome? The thing be say, me the way I know Pastor Chris Ayakilome. To be honest with you, I don't know an awful lot about him, but from what I know about him. Look, Chris Ayakilome, I don't think he wants anything from me or any other person. It's already made. You know, whatever Pastor Chris Ayakilome they get now, on top of what he's already got, it's surplus. You know? And, you know, then I say, hey, so Pastor Chris Ayakilome will text me, righteous messenger. No, I didn't believe it. Yeah? But the man continued, I am here to change your story in Jesus' name. You have to be careful. You have to pray with all your heart. That's what he talk. Yeah. This man didn't know who he was playing with. The righteous messenger. Oh. So I replied him, I don't believe in Jesus. Yeah. And then he said, you have to be careful. You have to pray with all your heart. Yeah. yeah. After I said, I don't believe in Jesus, he said, good thing is coming your way. Yeah. But then I think he, he asked why, meaning why don't you believe in Jesus? God loves you so much. And then I said, all pastors are liars and scammers. Yeah. And then he said why can't you think about where you will go after this life <laughs> me righteous messenger we already believe in afterlife this mother asked me about where why would i not think of where to go after this life is over yeah and i said there is no life after death for me i said that to him yeah and then he said, let me tell you, my children, God knows the best. Yeah. God sent me to you to come and scam me, you know. And then I said, no God, no Satan, no heaven, no hell. And then he said, my son, God loves you so much. And then I said, God is only real in the book. Yeah. I'm out for, you know, I put up these this conversation from my instagram message to show you you know and there's lots of comments out there people you know way into you know rob you or scam you in the name of god because after this conversation the man went and deleted his account because i don't know if he deleted the account or he's done something to the account because right now if i try to check who he is because then i wanted to take a screenshot of the 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 profile picture and show 
to you guys in this video but right now if i you know click on in profile it just the toxic what, what does it say this account yeah so people are mindful i gotta talk you no know, right now if i click on the profile it talks a user not found so basically this guy is a scammer to me i'm off because what do you think honestly i don't believe it's pastor chris ayakilo man you know i don't believe it's him but if it's him charlie what's really going on i don't believe it's chris pastor chris ayakilo man because i don't think chris ayakilo has time for you know stuff like this even me righteous messenger way Charlie a day here waiting and get back Charlie I'll be too busy to the extent here I don't go play such games what about Chris Ayakilo my way Charlie see how much money he gets how much possession of properties how much businesses you know I think Ayakilo man is too busy to play these games but Charlie people just be aware at the back you know people day online and you know they got fake accounts just trying to scam people and you know like they deprive people of their art and money and cash there's nothing wrong with giving you know i prefer to give to an orphanage but not when you know i'm being scammed you know imagine if i had given money to this guy and then the next couple of days i go you know to to you know into to, to 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 message him or to communicate with him on 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 instagram and he's no longer there i feel scammed or duped even though i did a good thing i still have pain in my heart that oh why was i treated like this and this god where it did before all these guys they use in name you know to commit you know this kind of fraud online Anyway, I'm out for if your boy the righteous message away, I can't pass through once again. And you know, I just wanted to share this story with you and you know to to tell you to be alert and be careful when you go online. Don't give no money to somebody online until or unless you know the person or you know say if what you are paying for, you know, you don't get it, you get a refund before make sure that before money you know is exchanged on you know social media or online or on the internet anyway thank you for viewing this video leave comments and you know let me know what you think about my experience and you know this video and you know i'm out for i go see you for the next video peace bye bye Live to know himself. Fear no motherland. Live to know himself. And write just one the messenger and the rhythm right on the can't contest. Otherwise, go fly with the sky for an ass of sit and so. Them not stuck up. Watch me. Watch this.